Hey, what's up YouTube? Scott, Scotty Tradition, back with a, another video. Uh, I'm going to do a video response today for uh, Mr. Fisherbike, uh, who's doing, I guess, a contest for Four Leaf Cards. Um, and we're supposed to show our YouTube PCs. Um, and that's kind of like everything we've accumulated uh, from the YouTube community um, since we've been on here. So um, I have selected an array of items to kind of go through with all of you guys. And I did make a similar video, I want to say about a year ago, kind of doing a thank you video to the community for all the different things that were sent my way. Um, but I'm going to go through again, you know, what, what I have here and, um, and like I know like um, a couple of people, uh, Donnie the Murph 398 has sent me um, like a whole big box of Packer cards. I'm not going to go through all those, but just an awesome gesture by him. Um, it was a lot of fun going through those with my boys um, and I know Bob Lewis has sent uh, multiple um, care packages of different cards that I enjoy like so it's all stuff from the 90s you know stuff that Bob used to collect and stuff that I'm really into as well so you know those guys have just sent me large chunks of cards and I'm not going to go through them here but um, I am very thankful for them and I wanted to make sure that I mentioned them um, so let's just start out here um, so a couple of these I got from uh, Stefan. There is a uh, Jose Fernandez. I don't remember if that was from a contest win from him. Stefan, this is the card fam, the sports card fam. And then um, uh, actually was handed this by his son at the uh, National in Chicago. Robin Yount patch from an Allen and Ginter box that he opened. And um, I still remember that. He kind of came over and said, um, I think you should have this. And I'm like, wow, well, thanks, buddy. And... Um, yeah, pretty sweet card there of Robin Yount. Um, so just awesome. Um, of course, uh, got one of these two. I've seen this in a couple other videos. The Ground Chuck. Uh, Scotty Tradition, the Men Mendoza Line 200 subs winner. Apparently I had won a contest from him at some point. Um, but I know he had sent uh, a couple cards my way. Willie Davis and Don Mikowski autographed. So those all came from Kyle Groundchuck. Um, there's a uh, Jordy Nelson card from a pretty well-known YouTuber, uh, Packer Cards 87, who I'm uh, friends with in another uh, Facebook group. But he had sent uh, this to me, as well as we know he's a Jordy Nelson super collector. So I was happy to have that. Um, we got uh, Tim Harris from that awesome score set. 90 score uh, bash autograph and this came from uh, Caleb's cards and Mad Dog Mike Douglas and uh, John Brockington as well just a few items that I keep uh, displayed downstairs by the rest of my stuff um, this actually came from Bob Lewis it's a he I'm not even I don't even know if he's aware he sent this but this is a, a one of those skybox rubies cards which are actually pretty sought after. This is a Mark Chimera, and I love those 90s Skybox cards. So, And he's, Bob sent a lot more too, but that's just the one that I grabbed. Um, and then we've got uh, my buddy B. Roth 6, Brian. Um, he sent me this uh, tuxedo of Jeff Query in a 9, which is pretty hilarious. Love it though. And the card on the bottom there, it's the James Lofton card. I just showed it. Uh, he had sent this to me uh, a couple days ago. Very cool. Um, and then there are a few cards of... Actually, this I think JMVP had sent me a care package a while back now. It had to be a year or two ago, probably two years ago, um, with some Packer stuff. So got a sticker from him. Um, got some things from the National. Of course, the Mickey Mantle... F face card from Eloy the Goat. Um, got a signed card of Mr. Those Back Pages, Eric. And of course, the uh, Joe Labello autograph card, which is always sought after. The Silver Jackify One of One. And that's a huge card. Huge. Um, and then, of course, got to mention. One of the more generous guys in the hobby, uh, Dane, 
um, he had sent this to me. It's a Packers uh, insignia from 67 Philadelphia. And of course he sent me a Yelich rookie too. I mean, this guy's just insane with the stuff he sends out. But I love it and it's gonna stay in my collection. And it's kind of helped me from not having to buy a, a PSA 10. I'm not sure what this would get for a grade, but I haven't looked it over super close. I'm guessing maybe a nine. It's a little bit off center on the front, but it is very sharp, so. So that all came from Dane, and he sent me some other stuff as well um, over the last year or two. So awesome, awesome guy, Cartex 710 Dane. Um, <laughs> and then um, got a couple more things here. Uh, of course, uh, here's the note. It just says, Scott, found it in a box. Dave, that's Blue Jacket 66. And it's just like a Bart Starr Super Bowl one patch card. No big deal. Just laying around in one of Dave's boxes. So just a sick card. And number 23 out of 25. So super happy to have that. And Dave's easily probably the most generous person in the hobby that I'm aware of anyways. Um, and I mean, and then you got like, some, somebody like Mark Fu 3112 who freaking sends this thing. Uh, I think it was around my birthday one year. I think it was this past fall. Uh, or was it the year before? I think it was this past fall. So he just sent me this Joe Montana autograph framed photo, um, which is crazy. Um, great guy. Talked to him quite a bit, Mark Fu 3112 and um, just another example of an awesome person in this hobby. Um, uh, and then of course, uh, <laughs> there's the uh, Vince Lombardi check that Dave uh, sent, Blue Jacket 66, as if the, that other card wasn't enough. You know, he had sent me this. And I, I absolutely treasure it. Um, it kind of sits displayed with um, a set of cards I have called Green Bay Greats. And this kind of sits nestled in the middle of all those in one of my display cases in my card room. Um, and if you stick around, I'm going to actually do a response for G's Mikey's contest uh, at the end of this video. And I'm going to go through and do a tabletop display of those Green Bay Greats cards that this kind of sits nestled in between. So uh, super cool. And Dave, just, I, I mean, what can you say? Just a great guy. Um, and then, of course, Dave sent this. This note here. And I remember, um, I still read the note from time to time. It just says, as you know, I send things out from time to time primarily to collectors with extraordinary passion for our hobby. I also like to acknowledge collectors who reflect the kindness and brotherhood that has kept uh, our hobby strong. I've had this piece for a very long time. It sat nestled along with a photograph and some newspaper clippings. It's, in my view, a very important piece of football Americana, especially to the Green Bay Packers enthusiast. Um, and then it just goes to talk about what the check was and everything like that. And at the end he says, I hope your children and theirs will enjoy this as much as mine have your friend Dave. And so um, this note just means the world to me. And that kind of leads me into my final thing here. It's the YouTube Hall of Fame patch. And you know, some, pe some people kind of scoff at the whole contest for whatever reason. Um, you know, it's not really a contest, really. It's more of like a, just an acknowledgement. That's the way I look at it. And, and w well, what does it acknowledge? Well, I think what it does is it acknowledges, to me anyways, this is how I take it. It acknowledges that others in the community that watch your videos, they kind of understand who the real you is and how I, w how I would want people to understand me. And it's kind of, so this thing here is kind of like a reflection that you're doing the right things. You know, you're getting, you're portraying yourself like you should, and people are understanding, and they're connecting with your message. And that's that's all it is. And um, so that's kind of like a brotherhood award, and that kind of means the world to me, right there. Um, so that is all I have for you here. Um, there might have been a few other things that I've been sent from time to time, but I just try to keep everything straight over here. Um, so. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Stick with me, and I'm going to do a quick tabletop display of the Green Bay Greats cards. And you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. 
Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, this is a contest response for G's Mikey, 600 subscriber contest. Great channel. Has some of the best contests on YouTube, I think. Just great ideas. Um, and so what I have here is a tabletop display of kind of the first modern set that I started collecting. This is from 2014, uh, Green Bay Greats from National Treasures. And I have a complete auto set. As well as a couple patch cards in there. Um, so you can see in the front, we'll kind of just go through them. Don Mikowski, Jordy Nelson, Antonio Freeman, Robert Brooks, Amon Green, uh, Devontae Adams, this was his rookie year, Richard Rogers as well, Haha -ha Clinton Dix. Uh, they included those three, actually four rookies, including Micah Hyde up there on the left in the set as well. Um, there's uh, Eddie Lacy. Um, that uh, jersey uh, patch for Charles Woodson is a real tough one. That's only numbered out of eight for the set, so that's a tough card. Uh, Donald Driver, Jan Stenerud, Randall Cobb, BJ Raji, Mark Chimera, and then there's a Rogers patch that I had up there graded as well. Sweet piece. Uh, and then up at the top, we have some Hall of Famers. Paul Horning, Bart Starr, or excuse me, Brett Favre, um, Aaron Rodgers. Those are both numbered, low numbered. Charles Woodson, not a Hall of Famer yet, but he should be a first Hall of Famer, Hall of a first ballot Hall of Famer, real soon. Forrest Gregg, rest in peace, and James Lofton. So, just a cool set, I think. And these display in my card room along with the check that I mentioned earlier that I got from Mr. Blue Jacket 66. So, now I just made a tabletop video of my entire Packers Team Hall of Fame collection um, a couple episodes back. They're all laid out on my kitchen table. There's over 100 cards, so... Um, I urge you to go check that out if you're into tabletop videos. I had a lot of fun doing that one and um, decided to do a little bit smaller one for this one, but I've actually never had these out on the tabletop. So, again, congrats on 600. Mikey, you got an awesome channel. Love your contests. They're always fun. And hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.